start one of those. <laughs> That'll be it for the panel today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, welcome everyone at MagFest to the Runaway Guys Throne Controllers. This year we will be self-titled with the very quick loss of my sanity because today has been a bit of an adventure, but somehow we are here and somehow things appear to be working, which means I just jinxed myself. So, uh, get ready for a fun ride, folks. Let's, let's do some introductions. I'm going to be your host and MC today, Proton John, and as always, I'm joined by... I'm a Jedi Cooper son. Chugga Conroy! Alright, so question for you guys. Who has not seen this panel before? Show of hands. Not bad, that's about half the room. Alright, so here's how this works. If we got a game show where we're going to be calling up contestants. If you noticed when you were coming in or getting seated, you were being given a card. That card represents a number that we're going to call up to get you to play. Uh, you can pick from the panels here on the screen, and you're going to do anything from answer some video game trivia to actually playing a video game, or worse. I put some new events in for MAGFest, and uh, let's just say, I don't know what to expect, basically, especially after the train wreck that was today, so... What you're trying to say is good luck. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so who did not get a card that actually wants to play? Raise your hand if you did not get a card and you want to play, because we need to give out all the cards Raise before we know dollars. our final contestants. Didn't miss too many this time. Cool, all right, so while we're getting the final count, everyone's getting the remaining cards, uh, how about you talk about our fabulous prizes? I'm here to offer you fabulous prizes! So... Man, if only I get an applause for <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we have some pretty legit stuff. If you can direct your attention over there to Adrisaurus and Family Jewels, they will be giving you your prizes after you come up and play. Fan Gamer has supplied us with our prizes here today. Just for competing at all, you can get a Fan Gamer pin set or sticker set. Some nice stuff in there. For one challenge one on the board, you will get a Fan Gamer keychain. We got some stuff like Jiggies from Banjo Kazooie, some Chrono Trigger keys, lots of cool stuff. At two wins, you get a poster. We can see, ooh, yeah, you hear you guys really doing the legitness there. Okay. Uh, yeah, that poster that Jules just held up, that is donated by Lonely Days 17. I hope the number after the username is correct. I'm sorry, I'm bad with numbers. So she's doing that Splatoon piece to press the giveaway here, and she is very embarrassed. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, at four wins, you get your choice of a fan gamer e tank mug or warp pipe mug. Wins. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of a little game called Undertale, but at five wins, if you are the first contestant to get that many points, you can get the five pack of figures. And lastly, if you are the top winner in today's show, we have a grand prize that only that you and only you will get. But we're going to be saving that for the end. All I'll say is, it's not a new 3DS. If I gave those out every show, it'd be boring. But it's something very magfesty, trust me. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Alright, so we've got our numbers in. What is the top number? The top number is... It's in your hand. Camille, look at your hand. I didn't see her, I didn't see her come up, okay? I was looking over there. Alright. Okay, we're gonna start thinking numbers. I just want to thank everyone who's helping us set this up, though. Tech Ops, our friends, Masay, Luca Jin, G, uh, everyone. Cheesy speech for the day. Uh, not even at the end. Okay. So, the first four contestants are card number 180. Come on up to the mic, just in front of the stage Come here. To the mic. Controllers. Third time contestant. No, it wasn't our first. Oh man, you've been here a lot. Uh, I just want to know: you have my Wi-Fi password and are using my printing files, right? Call <laughs> the next number. Please. Okay. Uh, sixty six zero. We also have two sixteen. And 
and 402. One of the last ones to get a ticket. Oh, oh yeah. That's awesome. yeah. If your number was called, come on up. The lovely lady Luca Jin will verify your number and we'll get to playing. But for now, how about you pick us a number? Well, before PK picks a number, uh, I don't know, do we have four players? Okay, oh, six zero wasn't standing up. I know how to count to four. PK, I don't even need to ask you if you know what you're doing. Wait, say it one more time? I, I don't even need to ask you if you know what you're doing. You've already done this a million times. Now. Nah, I think I've got a grasp on it now. Lucky number four, always. Lucky number four, is it lucky for you today? The lightning round. We choose this, con this category last year at MAGFest. You're gonna have to pick, uh, you're gonna have five questions. You have 30 seconds to answer them all. You have to get three of them right. All right. Your category this time around is who made what? Which company made a game for this series? Capcom, Konami, or both? All right. These are all gonna be like movie and TV show tie-ins, just so you know. Gotcha. Ready? Let's begin. Aliens. Konami? Both. Oh. G.I. Joe. That has been Konami. Both. What? Uh, the Simpsons. <laughs> what is this? Um, Capcom. Konami. Damn it! Excellent. Excellent. Both. Yep. All right, we're going Dungeons and Dragons. Capcom. Both. All right. Really? Yeah. All both? Sorry, dude. You already knocked out. Nice job. It's always fun to be here. so he's not interested. <laughs> okay, uh, you, contestant number two, what is your name? Haley. Haley, if you can speak a little closer to the mic, that'd be lovely though, Sorry. otherwise, pick us a number. Haley, are you ready? Uh, six. Haley picks number six. Number six ends up being? I'm a freak. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. <laughs> this is yeah, the Runway Guys. This is the Runway Guys video challenge. You pick one of the three of us and you either play a game against us or you pick one of our challenges. So your choices are, of course, Sugar Conroy, the son of myself. You don't get to know what they are. You pick choose your destiny. Oh, uh, pick Chugga. Chugga is picked. I forgot what order we put these in, but we're going to find out in a second. You're playing Mario Party 5. You play
I know that you actually practice this. I'm sorry, Haley, you've been eliminated. But if it makes you feel better, Emil admitted to practicing this. Thanks, Emil. Let's move on. Contestant in the uh, Hemtook is uh, my name is William Logan. It is oh, what? I said William. <laughs> Finally, it wasn't me for once. Hey, yeah. Okay, if I'm mishearing their names, now you got to make bad puns out of their names. If you know. Pick nine. All right, before we pick nine, where's the audio? <laughs> cool. I told you, this is going to be the panel. Ready, number nine? Cool, hang on. <laughs> Guys, I wasn't kidding about the loss of sanity thing. Number nine, you said, right? Number yep, nine. number nine. Number nine is... The new category, Leave of Faith. So this is an interesting situation we have here. The way Leave of Faith works is you're not actually playing the game challenge. Someone else is. You're picking who plays the challenge for you. But there's a catch. You don't know what the challenge is until you pick the person. There is also incentive for you to win, so don't think of sabotaging. Yes, for whoever actually picks, if you win the challenge, not only does William, get to keep playing. You also get to hop in the line directly and also get to skip being your, having your number picked. You earn your right to be a contestant if you do this for him. But William, you have to pick someone. If you don't want to pick someone, we will do it. But we can't guarantee. So ahead, if you have your friends, choice. I recommend doing it. If not, leave luck ahead. Until she says go. All right, we're gonna try that again <laughs> because uh, you happen to actually disqualify yourself by playing. Now, you tap it to the left. When he starts snorting, hit the attack button.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. I'm sorry, dude. Nice try, bro. Thanks for coming out. Well, that's two down then. Testing up, I suppose we can call another number. Uh, I hope I didn't already call 174, did I? No, I have my list here, I just don't remember exactly which space. No, I didn't! Let's also get 249 Tyranitar up here. And our next contestant is. I'm sorry, I'm too slow for you. I guess I shouldn't have called up the contestants. Go ahead. Scott. Scott. Scott, are you ready? Yes. You've seen what to expect. Pick a number. I'm gonna go with one. Number one is an audio question. So we've changed audio question this time around. There's, there's actually categories this time around. This time you're getting a remix. So this is a fairly well-known song, but it's a remix of that song. You need to figure out what game series this is from. Okay. All right, and conveniently, this is also from a game in that series, so it's gonna be a little bit easier than some of the later remix questions are. Are you ready? Yes. instead of one, because those are usually our harder events. So your options are multiple choice, brutal, audio, dialogue, screenshot, who the heck is that, the lightning round, solo game challenge, audience game challenge, TRG game challenge, and the leap of faith. If I may interject really quick. Yes? Multiple choice is yet to make its debut, and you might notice a certain category is missing. Yeah, we've replaced tricky question with multiple choice, so that option will give you four, four possible answers, basically. So it's guaranteed to be multiple choice, but you don't know the difficulty of it. Which one stands out the most? Or do you want to take the risk and go for double points? The audience game sounds good. You want to do the audience game? Yeah. All right. The first audience challenge of the night is going to be Windjammers. I need one. Uh... I'm not that 
evil tie. I'm not picking you. Okay. We're not gonna do show of hands. We're gonna do cards for this. So this is a card that otherwise would not have gotten picked. Should you win this, you also win your right to be a contestant. So we're gonna do 239. Card number 239. You are his opponent. Both of you, come on up. And of course, if you win the challenge, you also get to jump in the line as well. So uh, you two, come on up here, and we'll get you situated with Windjammers. We're also going to get a few more of you up to the side of the line so that you can be contested. We got card number 338 and card 117. I love all the groans from the people who are only one away. I almost said what your lock screen password was outright because it impressed me. Alright, you've seen the category list. Which one do you want to go for? 
Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Making right? TRG history, are we? All right, here we go. Multiple choice. Which of these is not an accessory for the NES? The four score, the Justifier, the Aladdin Deck Enhancer, or the Roland Rocker? C. The Aladdin Deck Enhancer? Yes. No, actually, it was the Justifier. Sorry, we've been eliminated. Grab your prize, though. What's your name? Junior. Sorry? Junior. Junior. All right, Junior. No one's on the board yet. Can you break the trend? Uh, I go number four. Number four is a solo video game challenge. How good are you at the original Street Fighter? Uh, he has the look of a champion. All right. All you need to do is just win a fight. That's it. You get to pick who you want to fight out of the four options, but you got to win the fight. Special advice for Street Fighter 1, just mash the buttons. garbage and I don't even know how we got good Street Fighter games out of this. I just want you to see what you're in for right now. Alright, your choice of character is just, just Ryu. That's it. You can be Ken as well, but I'm not setting that up for you. Are you ready? I'm just mash the face buttons is all I need to do. But you need to pick where you want to go first. Japan, USA, the UK, or Russia? Can't even start it, and you just went against them. We're right. in the nation's capital, what do you expect? Good luck, defeat Red Zoo. Go. It, yeah, it's really terrible, dude. They basically aren't combos. You, you can do your fight. Oh. Uh, so I don't know if anyone noticed, but he had half health and died in one hit, so this is a good game. He can do the same to the AI, though, at least. He just has to not let that happen. Oh, 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 he's learning! He's learning! Just do that again! Just do that one more time! All I can say. Just one more time doing that. Whatever you oh, no, do. he's learned! He's learned! So I've shuffled it, I've shuffled it, and it looks like we will both be playing uh, Dr. Mario. <laughs> Defeat NCS in a versus match at virus level 5, speed high. How good are you at Dr. Mario? You've never played Dr. Mario. I'm glad you've shown up. I'm just going to tell you you can go sit back down right now. <laughs> Met it in that last challenge. I thought he was going to get Retsu prayed. You're welcome. Oh. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. All right. All right, 
right, so Tim's gonna be playing as player one. And our contestant's gonna be playing as player two. Tim, set it up. Set up the virus level five. You can use the D-pad, Tim. D-pad's way easier. Set up the virus level five. Set that speed to high. Both players. Both players, please go back up. There we go. And you hit the wrong button. Oh, no, that's not you, actually. You're the one who's on level six. There you go. All right, press start. Okay, so if you... Uh, Tim is player Amy, one. Amy. Those two buttons. There you go. Tim is player one, yes. Tim is indeed player one. Cool. Got some combos getting started right here. Possibly. Match four colors in a row to actually get one of the viruses. The first of all the viruses wins unless the other person kills himself, which is... So basically, we're going to do one more round of Tim wins. Do you want to just quit? Okay. <laughs> Remember, this guy has not played Dr. Mar before, so if you're backseat gaming... Just right in. Nice clear. 21 to 22 viruses right now. Starting to get more, get more used to the game here. You can try. Oh, she'll tell you to try everything. That's what I get. Anyway. They call me Snack. Snack? You are Snack Attack? I know exactly who you are. You can also call me Snack. So many choices. Are you ready? I'm gonna take eight. Number eight is... Who the heck is that? We're gonna give you a silhouette of a character and a description. You need to tell me who it is. Rebooted to become the legendary Dragon Ninja during a simpler time, he was a young ninja who always seemed to manage to get into trouble and glared at the player the way too much during the cutscenes. Uh, Ryu Hayabusa. Nice and easy. On the board. I have a feeling that was gonna be no problem. Keep it going, pick another one. Uh, seven. Number seven, the lightning round. Will you be the first person to survive a MAGFest? Your category this time is PlayStation 2 launch titles in North America. Were these games released with a PS2 or not? Answer yes or no. Ready? You need to get three out of five right. Starting with Final Fantasy X. No help from the audience. I heard everyone say no at once. Not a launch title, right? Launch titles and it came up with a system. So I'm going to give you the point for that one. No, you said no. no. Dynasty Warriors 2. No. Yes. Time Splitters. Yes. Yes. FIFA 2001. Yes. No. Last one. Kingdom Hearts. No. Correct. Yeah. You're currently in the lead. You tried. You tried. Uh, three. Number three is multiple choice. Which of these companies released their first video game first? Square, Konami, Capcom, or Sega? Which of these four is the oldest company in the gaming industry? Capcom? Capcom's your guess. Yeah. But it's Sega. Ah. 1966. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but you're currently in the lead, so go and take Junior's spot there. Junior, you can go sit down, because we've got our current here. Next up! 
Our next contestant. Hi, I'm Josh. Josh. <laughs> In stereo. Little Josh. Score sent it to you. Think you can beat it? Me? That's the comments I like to hear. Pick a number. Number seven. Number seven is Mobile Joyce. What company makes the Kirby and Smash Bros. games for Nintendo to publish? Hey. Yep, Hal. Nice and easy. Remember, no help from the audience, please. Even if it's an easy one. Keep going. Uh, number five, the other game. Number five, Leap of Fate. Remember, pick someone that you think is good at games. Come up to the mic first. Come up to the mic. To the microphone. To the microphone. What's your name? Andrew. 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 How good are you at video games? Good. How good are you at Ice Climber? <laughs> it's not too bad. All you have to do is clear Mountain 2. So come on up. Andrew, are you ready? Andrew, did you press start or is that the demo again? That's demo. the demo. Alright, press start. Once, once that album drops gone. Press start now. With demo the most obvious jump physics in video games. You are allowed to die, but you can't get game over. And even if you make if you make it to the bonus round and die, it's fine, I'll count that. Three lives. So for those who have never played Ice Climber, imagine a platforming game that's all ice physics. <laughs> Not only that, but you fall through platforms that you clearly hit. I mean, it is in the name. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Toby puts back a platform right there. He has A to jump and B he can use to attack enemies. Enjoy. There it is. Watch out for that bird. Nice. Now the problem is the screen no longer scrolls down, so if you somehow fall below, oh, you die, so be very careful. Oh, he's fine, he killed the guy. He'll just dance his way. He's fine. He's just gonna dance away. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. The jump physics are really bad in this game. Do you want me to put a time limit on this one, Andrew? It's also like Castlevania jumping. Once you pick a direction, you can't directionally influence. Oh! Does it? Wow. Nice yeah, they respawn. Alright, I'm gonna need to get a time limit on this. If you can't get past this jump in one minute, I'm just gonna say you lost. I didn't think I was gonna need this. One minute starting now. Okay. I couldn't pick stage one because I thought it was too easy because there's no pits at all. Oh! Oh! The Coca Cola Bear! All you gotta do is climb two more floors and you're there. Come on. Do it! Oh, and you can get to those Tetris blocks up there. You are the winner. There it is. <laughs> can you land on it? You can land on it. Alright. One more. So you've made it because the bonus round's about kicking, but can you make it to the top? This is just for bragging rights at this point, because you've won the challenge. Oh. So let's see if you can do it. You have 30 seconds. You have, you have time to realize 28, 27. Oh, I thought he was going to fall right through. Another number. Once the video feeds back up, that part's important. <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, it's a good song. Okay, you are currently tied for the lead, by the way, so if you can get this point, you can actually knock him out of the lead seat. So, what can you do? Pick a number. Let's go with number four. Number four is. Screenshot! Name the game the screenshots from. <laughs> it's an authentic experience, I swear. Pokemon Go. 
Pokemon Go is correct. You are currently the leader. I would like to point out, Tim is actually playing Pokemon Go right now, on stage. Trust me, I would be playing too. up in here. No. <laughs> Trust me, I'd be, I'd be playing too if I didn't have to do the RNG to pick the contestants. <laughs> All right, you're currently your leader. Can you widen the lead even more? Number six. Uh, number six. Number six is dialogue. This is an audio clip from any game. Just tell me what game this is from. Your right hand comes off. <laughs> Want me to replay that? I don't think I've played that game. You uh, probably have. You want me to replay it? Sure. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off. Is that Yzma and Krunk from The Emperor's New Groove? No. <laughs> Any guess? Uh, like, we say Banjo Tooie. Banjo Tooie? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> 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 All right, good answer, good answer. The real answer is Resident Evil 4. But come on up, you're the top winner. <laughs> you get prizes, yeah. Uh, actually, those guys were before you, Andrew. Yeah, they come first. It goes in order. So, what? No, he, he, he joins back the line, basically. Okay. Our mistake. They all get to play you anyway, so. How's it going? That is an awesome ponytail, wow. Thank you. Uh, my name is George. Hello. George. Yes. George, do you think you can meet the top score right now? Do you think you can meet top score? Uh, God, no. That's what I like to hear. Pick a number. Uh, I'm gonna go with 10. 10? Another leap of faith. Pick an audience member to play a challenge for you. The holy pick, George. Holy pick. Sh shut up, Tyler. Shut up. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. Wait, did someone flash money at you and you picked them? <laughs> I wasn't looking. I swear. Oh, oh, I guess that's effective. Come on up. Come on up to the mic. Are you? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Talk and introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Luke. Luke? But you can call me the dragon. Alright, the dragon. I, I like how his name is George and he picked the guy offering him a one dollar bill. A George Washington. Hey, no, I just promise that. I wasn't looking. Close okay. I promise nothing to deliver even less. I got you. Alright, the dragon. How good are you at Marvel vs. Capcom 2? And George, I have a question for you. How good are you at Marvel vs. Capcom 2? I press buttons and win. Alright, well, surprise, you actually picked your opponent! <laughs> Come on up, boys! Time to play some Marvel! <laughs> Alright, we've got... George is playing on the left side of the screen, and we've got the dragon on the right. Alright, so so far it looks like George has picked Morgan, Mega Man, and the Juggernaut. And so far the Dragon has picked Ryu, Spider-Man, Morgan... Right there. So neither of you have really played this before, right? Alright, getting notes from both sides of the audience here. Alright, let's see.
foundation, use Juggernaut a bit more. He's getting knocked around more like Jugglemot. He's here all week, folks. Thank you, you're too kind. All right, right now it looks like uh, the Dragon's team is barely taking any damage, but Bree was almost out. Thank you, Spider-Man. Juggernaut's just kind of kicking the air. Uh-oh. Oh, misses oh, the tag! Oh. Uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing any supers in this match by the looks of it. Spidey Juggernaut is! is. Oh, wow. wow! One character down for George. Here comes Morgan. Should be double working, no, just a tag and assist. Spider-Man's in the danger mode. One more hit on Spider-Man. One more. All right. Morgan, unfortunately, is also in the danger zone here, but Reeve is back in with very little help. Health lead right now is going to the audience, the dragon. Looks like picking Reeve was a good idea. He's learned to use fireballs. Then he picked Mega Man, who is all fireballs. Mega Man's gone. Morgan is one hit away from dying. Make that one more hit. That's it. All right. Dragon, hop over there. Get me. George, thanks a lot, dude. Go and get the prize. What is your name and how can I make a stupid pun of it? It is Chris with a K. Ah. Huh? You can't be turned to that one very much. Ah. We call it Chris K. This is the worst part, having to wait for this to reload every single time. Magnus, we were not able to get a switch box, unfortunately, but as long as it's working, that's what matters, right? Are you ready? Safety copes. Pick a number. Uh, I'll take number five. Number five? Solo video game challenge. How good are you with Michael Jackson's Moonwalker? <laughs> All right, this is not the Genesis version, by the way. This is the arcade version. And because of that, we have a very special guest joining you in this solo challenge. It's actually not solo, because Michael Jackson himself will be challenging you.
Who's next? In the red jacket, in the blue shirt, in the white shoes, and I'm getting oddly more and more specific. I'll stop that. Just tell us your name. CJ. CJ. CJ, you ready? Call it out. Number three? Number three. Number three. Easy question. How many directions are there on a traditional Nintendo D-pad? <laughs> I don't know what camera you're mugging, but you're doing a good job of it. I'm gonna go with four. That's a safe, that's a safe bet. Yeah, four directions. Call them easy for a reason. Pick another one. Seven. Number seven, an audio question. All right, this is just a regular one, no remixes. What game is the following song from? <laughs> That's correct! Oh. No help from the audience. This is the title screen song to the game, so if you don't know this, you might not know it at all. Before you said that, you wouldn't you would know it if you played the game. Before you said that, my serious guess was Jackie's Cafe from Earthbound. <laughs> nope. Donkey Kong Country 3. Say that again? Donkey Kong Country 3. Is that just the answer everyone's gonna give tonight now? <laughs> no, no, it is from a Hotline Miami. The soundtrack is excellent if you've never heard of it, but I'm sorry, your round's over though. Grab your prize though. And the one who won his right to be a contestant with the Mega Lucario and the awesome shirt that I would love to steal from you right now is... Oh, Mega Charizard, sorry. And you call yourself a Pokemon master. You know the worst thing is, I couldn't even tell it was a Pikachu. I thought its face was Lucario's belly. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, get up. Get off the floor. You have to play a panel here. Come the on. lights are in my eyes, okay? Ten. Ten. TRG Pikachu Challenge again. Who do you want to challenge this time? Trigger Conroy. And see, me? Ooh, all right. All right. How good are you at fighting games? All right, this is the only one I put on the list, but it's a good one. Garo, Mark of the Wolves. I remember the... I'm not picking butt. Sorry. He, Andrew, you can pick butt. He's a great character. I remember the times that you made a video of yourself fighting, like, an eight-year-old in this game. An eight-year-old? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. See? So, so there was this old Let's Play forum many, many moons ago that they ran a Garo Mark of the Wolves tournament. And uh, I think we didn't finish the tournament, I think about it. We stopped at like the semifinals or something. But one of my rounds was literally an eight-year-old child. Thank you for asking that question, David. I'm glad you asked that I win. I remember that he complained. The answer is fuck you. <laughs> and yes. scary how I know his channel better than he does. <laughs> that video's deleted, so that's why. <laughs> oh, you can swipe to collect the bubbles on Pokestops. I've always been tapping them individually. <laughs> you, can just, you can just press X and you collect them all immediately. Well, yeah, I know that, though. Popping bubbles is more fun. I'm, I'm worried about you. Alright, this is gonna take a bit to load, unfortunately, but it will work. Yeah, button mash. There's four buttons. Mash them all. This happens, don't worry. That's actually normal. Look, just because I'm here doesn't mean it's glitching, alright? You ready? Alright, you'll be playing as player two, I'll be playing as player one. Here's your roster. This guy's fun right here. Double butt! Whoa. 
We got some hot butt on butt action. Uh, John says that he's the white butt and that he's the black butt. Oh, orange! Sorry. Apparently I'm colorblind too. together. 
otherwise it's just punches and kicks. All right, well you're coming closer. You've got a slight health lead right now. Pretty close. Two more hit points. Uh-oh. He's just getting mad. Keep kicking on him, walking your foot. One more. Oh. Still lift him up here with a you know forklift here. Let him flex a bit more. I heard that. That was better than Mortal Kombat, actually. Uh, uh, I'm after this. You probably picked the wrong convention to start saying that. At. All right, now you're tied for the lead, so if you win this one, you actually will take the lead away. Uh, number eight. Number eight. It's a bad choice! Oh, first one of the night! Brutal question! I think this one's actually a little easy, though, so you might get this one. It's looking easy for the first one. I thought someone would have actually picked it originally. The nest originally launched with an accessory called the ROB, or ROB. What does ROB actually stand for? And remember, no help from the audience, because this could decide the winner. <laughs> that is not what the B stands for. Robotic Operating Buddy. You got it! Well, alright, you're in the lead. Sorry, dude, nice try, though. Alright, keep going, though. Can you make the lead any higher? Number five. <laughs> Who the heck is that? You wait till it shows up, please. While our RPG series was originally supposed to be six games long, it was cut down to three by the publisher, but that hasn't hindered this Android's popularity at all. Cosmos? Yeah, Cosmos. Oh. Honestly, I thought that was me here before it said the video game. Alright. Okay, half the board down, half to go. Let's keep going, what's next? Seven. Seven. TRG Video Game Challenge. Each of us has been played once. We still have a couple more challenges on the board. Do you want to play? Chuck a Conroy and set up the free sun. Oh, my what? Uh, Where are you going? The panel's still running. Where are you going? I thought he thought this was a leap of faith for a second. <laughs> oh. 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 He's asking for advice to who's the easiest person they to be. He said Emil was terrible at everything. <laughs> it's true, it's true. This is the best panel. He said he just got scrapped in the Nintendo game. Alright, so you're picking Emil? Alright. So you picked Chuck the Pound, right? You're gonna play some Pokemon Stadium 2. Defeat Chuck in a quick battle. One Pokemon. This is the best panel. Now you've played Pokemon before, I assume, right? All right, cool, then you know the basics. Two-player battle. Are the Pokemon this preset? Looks like it. Middle's the top half. Our contestants on the bottom. That's quite the list of Pokemon. All right, so you get to pick three Pokemon, but it doesn't matter. Your first one's the one that's gonna matter here. You're only doing a one Pokemon battle. So this is how we've done this in the past. You're basically gonna hope for a little bit of luck and hope that your friends were telling the truth about a meal. Both players are selected. Let's see what we have. First off, a meal is picked. Larvitar. And our contestant is picked. Charmander! You cannot switch Pokemon, you're stuck with what you picked. And based, based on the audience reaction, I think you're in trouble. So go on, 
Go ahead and sit down. How are we doing for time here? I think we're running a little low. I think we're only going to be able to go through what we have left here. We're going to find out. We definitely have time for... Come on over. Don't be shy. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Where are you? Well, it's been a fantastic magfest. It's my favorite convention of all. Good choice. I agree. What a coincidence. What's your name? My name is Ryan. Ryan. High score set. Think you can beat it? I'll, I'll, I'll eat some block, but I think I can do it. All right, let's see what you can do. Pick a number. Number 10, please. Number 10 is... Oh, that was a brutal first. Audience three. video game challenge, Street Fighter 2 Kuryu Edition. This is not your normal Street Fighter, because you're about to play what's called a press start match. This will make sense once you start playing if you have no idea what we're doing. Our audience member is the one with card number 87. Will this anyway be a contestant? Wow, your hat is awesome and so is everything else you're holding. So, let's get our contestants settled here. We are doing something a little special here. Uh, I call it a press start match. So I want you both to get used to control. Have either of you played Street Fighter before? You have? All right. Uh, that may not matter. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, all right. So yeah, just grab your seats. So you're gonna be playing this player too, right? Yep, looks like this. Got controllers. No, you're fine. Tim's showing me there's a magic carpet here. All right, so I'm gonna put two credits in. All right, so I need you both to be familiar with where the start button is. It's right there, yeah. Okay, this is demo by the looks of it. All right, press start on your control. Who do you want to play as? Okay, press on your wrist, get in. Okay, pick who you want. So this is the good one, right? Well, um, <laughs> you'll find out in a second. And when we're familiar with Street Fighter 2 Rainbow Edition, we'll know exactly what to expect. Oh boy. Alright, so uh, you're gonna fight as normal, but when I say press start, you both are gonna press start on your controllers while you're standing on the ground, okay? So start. Three, two, one, press start. You'll be randomly changing characters through the whole fight. Three, two, one, press start. They're perfectly in sync right now. They're both playing as Dalsim. Three, two, one, press start. Oh. There you go. Oh. No, you didn't. Well, it doesn't matter. It looks like you're winning this fight right now. There you go. Oh, no. Am I going to turn around? If you miss the press start, don't worry about it. Try to. Yeah, you know, it changes things up when you do. Um. Okay. Three, two, one, press start. All right. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh my god, that was a massacre. I'm sorry. You've done it. Can you do me a favor before you, you bounce off it though? Can you switch to Ken or Ryu? I want to show off why this game is ridiculous. I like it better when they were smiling. Oh, yeah. So I'm sad that you didn't get stuck because any of the show knows long enough to show this, but if you do any shore you can
He's still in it, don't worry. He knows what he's doing. I'm pretty sure I have to wait to be able to pick up a prize if I won the game. You're fine, keep going, you're doing it. All right, All right. pick another number. Number nine, please. Number nine. Yet another video challenge. Bill Hambeer's Combat Basketball. All you gotta do is score a point. That's it. Just score a point. This seems interesting. That's it. it sounds hard. That's all you gotta do. That's all there is to it. Score one point. All right. I'm gonna ask a silly question. Have you ever heard or played Bill Hambeer's Combat Basketball? No idea? All right. So you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely get one here. And there he is right there, Bill Lambeer himself. There's his friends. I don't know, but he really likes combat basketball. Are you ready? Come on over here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go game duration. We're gonna pick three minutes, but you're only playing 90 seconds. So you're gonna play the first half. Where are you gonna put this on beginner difficulty? You're still gonna have a hard time with it. So here's how it works. Uh, the B button does everything. <laughs> it passes, it shoots, it steals, it dashes. No. It's just based on whatever else you press with the B button. If you press up and B button, you'll either tackle or pass. Good luck figuring out how to shoot. <laughs> you are the blue team. And by amazing, I mean it's garbage. It's garbage, y'all. I believe you're, are you shooting on your own net? What is this? I don't even, all right. And that's AI getting the first point. He's blue, just a heads up. So you've got to go all the way down to the bottom. You have to throw the ball. There's only one button. Try this button. You're right, why is that button not doing anything? None of the buttons are doing anything. There, you weren't pressing the right button. It's this button. Oh, sorry, it's the bad button. Sorry. Don't worry, it wouldn't have made an entire difference at all. You're, you're still pressing the wrong button, sorry. It's, it's this button there, cheaper button. Cool. Sorry, it's, it's A. It's, 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 it's B button. Oh, oh, oh. Here. Sorry, it's next day. I think he blocked a shot, I'm not really sure. Thrown out. One minute, five seconds left in the round. Apparently that was out. Oh. Out again, apparently. Cool. Oh, he's got it. Out again. This is one way to get to your basket. Seals the ball. The ball stolen again. AI scores again. Cool. There's some power ups, I don't know what they do. Basket, it was the hockey puck. You know, in combat basketball. Basket. Remember, just get one point, that's all you need. That's all, just one. It's 12 to nothing, you've got, you've thrown it out. 54 seconds up. This reminds me of something I can't say because it's spoilers. Oh yeah, Mega Man Soccer's way better than this. It's not hard to be better than Bill Lambert's combat basketball. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I don't think it's helping you. Okay. 14 to nothing, 50 seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, I traveled! He almost made it halfway. Oh, oh yeah. he it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh he's at half court. He's at half court. He's at half court. Yeah. Take it.
guess who's giving you a favor? Ball's in your control on their side of the court. 18 seconds left. I don't know why you threw it all the way up there. That's all. Oh, uh, you have 11 seconds. Can you make the comeback of the century or the best shot in history? So it's just going to be trivia from here on out. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Pick a number. All right. Uh, let's go with number five, please. Number five. Bad start. Very bad start. Well, I guess it came short. <laughs> <laughs> Within the past couple of years, it was revealed that Yoshi is actually not the character's true name, but a nickname. Oh, she might know it. What? What is Yoshi's real name? No. <laughs> Your life is a lot. Oh my god, she got it. Very oh! nice. Manifest acing these brutal questions. Uh, number eight. Number eight? Number eight. Dialogue. This is an audio question. What game is the following audio clip from? Let me up the volume a bit. Get ready. Um, oh gosh. Could you play it one more time, please? Sure. Nine. Dialogue. 
What game is the following clip from? Oh, the underworld lies just beyond the sound there. Good luck. No, no, don't look back at the audience. <laughs> nice try. Uh, uh, Mad Max, I guess. I don't know. Shadows of the Dam. Sorry, dude. It's a very good game. I highly recommend it. That's it. That's Christ. And that's it for Book Controller. So let's talk to our winner. Uh, our, uh, our very friendly winner. Emil, this is all you. Oh, okay. Throwing me under the bus, I see. You did kick your ass at Pokemon. Or no, you beat him, never mind. Wait, I can keep my ass at oh, Pokemon? Well, he did lose to Quirk, so. Moving on. <laughs> you mean the world's only game? No. Okay, well, wow, he really wrapped this up nicely. So, you might want that. A certain booth in the dealer hall supplied the grand prize this time around. From Benjamin Howard of Fizzman Industries, we have... If I can get it unwrapped. Do you, do you need a hand? He did a very good job on this. We have your trophy. He'll show it in a second, guys. Don't worry. Proto Man. <laughs> These statues are really nice, actually. I highly recommend it. Take good care of it. Thank you for buying the controls, and it's okay if you don't know who we are. You can have this unnecessary, this ludicrously large amount of bubble wrap to get it home in. Thanks everybody for tuning in for Throne Controllers. We'll see you guys next year.